Good morning and welcome to Florida Day 8. Today we are off to SeaWorld, hence the attire uh, Pete and Oscar look pretty similar to. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> Shall we just tickle you all day, Oscar? No. <laughs> so this morning, SeaWorld doesn't open until 10, so we've got plenty of time. So we are heading off to the Bayliner Diner for some breakfast. And we had a look at SeaWorld this morning. And I'm sure I didn't plan it this way, but today is actually the grand opening day of Icebreaker, which pretty sure I wouldn't have planned to visit a park where there's one of a brand new Florida roller coasters opening. So I wonder what that will do to crowds. I mean, maybe it will mean the rest of the park is absolutely dead. Maybe Sesame Street land will be filled with parents with kids. <laughs> well, I assume it usually is filled with parents with kids, but I'm guessing this icebreaker is going to have three hour plus queues all day long. Yeah, yeah, probably. So we were hoping to ride it, but whether or not we'll be able to, if it's the grand opening day, Maybe not. I guess we'll find out. Okay, there'll probably be like 250 people there. I think, I think there'll be more. Way. Well, they're going to do, uh, they're cutting the rope at 11. So for the first hour of the park, I imagine it's just going to be people crowding around Icebreaker ready for the yeah. cutting the rope. So maybe the first hour we'll get on a few rides. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but it is what it is. The day will take us where the day takes us. But first, breakfast. and each one has got something different. So like a make your own omelet station, pancakes and waffles, um, breakfast sandwiches, and like a full breakfast. So I'll show you what we've gone for. I went for the make your own omelet, which comes with a side. So I've gone for ham and cheese and some breakfast potato. Oscar went for the chocolate chip pancakes. And Pete went for sausage, egg, and biscuit. And it came to 26.09. our bearings a bit, we ended up coming back on ourselves. Oscar wants to go and do Sesame Street Land first, so we're going to head over there. Now we have had a look at the coasters and Oscar's too small for them. Um, we think it works out around 137 centimetres, which he is not, which we were surprised about actually because we've been able to do a lot of the big roller coasters elsewhere. So I think it'll just be the smaller ones and utilising some child squad later today. But obviously there's loads of shows and things to do here. And it is open until 8 o'clock tonight. We have got the Seven Seas Food and Wine Festival on as well. So there's going to be plenty to do. But it feels a bit like smaller than where we've been before. But yeah, we're just trying to catch our bearings and figure out where we need to go, which is always the case, isn't it, when you go to a new place. And there's Icebreaker, which is opening later today. We'll have to see if we get the opportunity to go on it, but Looks pretty cool. They're getting ready to cut the rope, I think in about five minutes. I got some like media set up. Oh look, there's the ribbon. Oh, I don't think Oscar's big enough for this one either. 
I could just see them in the corner. Are you big enough? It's tall enough to yeah. ride for someone over 14 years of age. for Seaward Orlando as we finally open Icebreaker. We knew we needed a launch coaster. And not only is it a launch coaster, it's a quadruple launch coaster. So when you start out, you launch backwards. There's not enough energy. The anticipation's building. You fall forward and launch forward. Still not enough speed. Then you launch backwards, up Florida's tallest beyond a vertical spike. You're coming slightly out of your seats. The air time is ridiculous. You launch forward 52 miles an hour, over 13 airtime hills, which for you coaster enthusiasts is more than Mako. Lots of low maneuvers, tight twists and turns before returning back to the station. Let's go. So we just watched the ceremony for Icebreaker just because we were passing. That wasn't our intention today. We didn't even know it was opening. But now it's time for Oscar Ma Oscar Ma <laughs> But now it's time for Oscar to go and visit Sesame Street Land. He's been really excited for this. Which is a very cute little Make me do the end of the bin journey. 
the same. Yeah, I don't think it's quite the same thrill though, is it? As the wind journey. It's really humid today, really hot and humid. We have a little rest place. Yeah. I think those kids are resting. I think that's lots of play. That's good. Yeah. That little play area just opposite the cookie drop. Or you can get next. Just a play area here. It's very cute here, very cutely themed. Oh, God, I don't like the rides in Sesame Street land is that even for Oscar they're quite little as in probably aimed at like two to five year olds I would imagine and um, to try and get an adult in the ride as well does not really work and on that big bird twirl and will to try and get both Pete and I and Oscar in that ride it was just not happening it was way too cramped and um, so yeah be mindful of that so we're just gonna have a wander around and then we've got some characters that we want to meet and parades and things like that. So, yeah, there's a lot to do this afternoon. Let me guess the way. That t-shirt looks very familiar. <laughs> and then, this t-shirt here looks kind of familiar too. So sick, as Oscar would say. We're just waiting for the parade. Who are we going to see in the parade? Everyone. Everyone. In the world. We're excited. It's nice to have parades back again. You. And what did we just go and do actually? We like bought out the entire merch shop of Oscar the Grouch merchandise, didn't we honey? Yes. We've not seen so much Oscar the Grouch merchandise in one place before. Things like this. Things like this. Watch yeah. out for the upcoming haul video. It's like a statue, it's not like...
was honestly so good. It was one of like the better parades that we've ever seen. They seemed to last for ages and there was so much dancing and all the favourite nostalgic characters. Honestly, it was incredible. Love that. It just made me smile. Wasn't it good? It's really good. Was it good? Hey, the wrong way. It was so good. We all really enjoyed that. Did you like that? It did. It was very different to the parades you usually see. Because they kind of lined up the street and then it was just like a big party in the street for 10 minutes. I loved it. It was so much fun. The fun the wrong way. So now we are heading back towards Icebreaker for our return time. Ooh. Excited for that. No, Change of plan, Icebreaker is down. So we've just come to have a look just at this little section here. I can't believe that it was only a few days ago that we were actually swimming with those guys. How amazing is that? Oh, there's sharks. that it just had like a lap bar instead of one that's over the head which I find much more preferable because I really hate banging my head on rides but that was just incredible it had um, a really big initial drop which I was not expecting I felt like I was gonna come off the seat <laughs> it, that was great I think both Pete and I said like Intense, right? Oh my god, that drop is so hard. Once you've done that drop, the rest of it kind of feels not so bad, but the rest of it is still just as intense. 
It was really good though, really enjoyable. So it's four o'clock now and we are just heading over to the Sea Lion and Otter Theatre for the four o'clock show. It's the first show that we've seen today. I don't know where the time has gone here. Clearly we've been having too much fun, but the time has just run away with us. But now we're excited to see this. Discovery Cove last week. 
I'm just losing track of the days. No, it was only Monday. Crikey. But no, it's starting to cool down a little bit now. It's um, after five and the, the temperature is still hot, but obviously the sun isn't blazing. So what we did find, or what we have found about SeaWorld is that we felt like there is no shade anywhere. We've been really struggling to find any shady spots. So we've been more than happy to do um, the shows and things just to get out of the sun. The other thing as well is that Universal, there was the freestyle machines everywhere to fill up your water bottles, but we haven't found any, or we're kind of rarely finding them at SeaWorld. We found one so far, and then obviously we filled up there, but we haven't found another one since. Yeah, I need another fill. I am thirsty. Yeah, we're all a bit well, thirsty I now. Like, uh, Count Excuse if me? If you don't subscribe and like. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully we'll find one on the way to the dolphins because yes, it is hot. We need to keep hydrated. in a row like that and just when they all like, jumped all, all five at the end when that was very the clever end. oh that was fab wasn't it, it was. right now we must <laughs> Oscar wants to be in the soak zone we they, must... they really splashed as well like they were right in the middle the dolphin just came up and was just like whacking constantly <laughs> so the people that were right in the middle on the bottom five rows must have got drenched now we must find some water. I am parched. Oh, look, there's a freestyle machine that's not turned on again. I know. I don't know. It would be because they do sell the refillable glasses here. Obviously, you can refill them throughout the day. It's the same uh, freestyle machines as to where you can get the water. So I think you'd be a little bit annoyed if you had purchased it and um, yeah, there's just no machines anywhere. Strange. Here, which was $65 for 10 items, which apparently saved uh, up to 40% of the price. So we've only got about an hour and a half left in the park, so we need to get this used pretty quickly. So the first thing that we're trying is from the American booth, and it is brisket tacos and lobster mac and cheese with a passion fruit mimosa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's warm. Lobster mac and cheese. It actually looks like it's got some big pieces of lobster in it. Yeah, that's nice though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It looks dry as a bone. It's not very hot either. I mean, it truly looks dry. Oh, that's horrible. That's actually horrible. Is it like a really fatty bit? Oh, I've got some fatty bits in there. I've got some fatty bits. I think I just tried a really fatty piece. Let me try another one. Here, take one. What are you doing? I don't know. Yeah, no thank you. Is that you? Not much better, really. Try the lobster. Just water if you want one. You guys really don't want some of this? Not me. At least that's hot. Yeah. First impression, it's not Mardi Gras. You guys want some lamb chops? <laughs> You're going to have them, really. I thought they wanted them. I got a group for everybody. Here. No, okay, no, no, night. no, no, no. We didn't touch them. <laughs> Try them so you like them. Maybe tomorrow you'll get some. <laughs> I'll eat one more. You guys can have the rest. Why? <laughs> we, I, don't eat, I don't like lamb. And you don't like lamb? My wife, so. <laughs> Back. Okay, this very kind man is just giving us some. Um, is it what is it? Lamb? It's a la I don't know. If they're oh, delicious. It's uh, like an Italian sauce they put on. Okay, let's give it a go. Messy. There's loud barbecue lamb ribs. Barbecue lamb ribs. What do you guys like to have? Pineapple barbecue sauce, chocolate rice. Mm. I told you they were good, right? It is good. It's very really good. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm gonna get one more. This is the lamb rib that that very nice man has just given to us. He gave us like three of them. He only ate one. And it is good, isn't it? The bottom is awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Really sticky. So we were hoping to go back round to Icebreaker and visit the food booths on the way um, because we still hadn't managed to ride Icebreaker but it still looks like it's down for the day which now means that it's been down for like a good couple of hours. Now when we went back like midday the attendant advised that the reason why it was closed was because a child had managed to stick their leg out of the ride so I don't know hopefully the child's okay we don't know but it's it doesn't look like it's been running since which is a shame we were really hoping to get ride that today whilst we were here but never mind so we're gonna go and finish off the food booze get this credit spent so from brazil we are trying the brazilian cheese bread which is oscar's favorite when we go to fazenda oscar taste test shepherd's pie which we actually believe to be a cottage pie because it's beef it's also got pastry so let's taste test why is it so salty i think they put like parmesan on the top of that or something because it's like a really salty cheese which does not belong there It's not the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth, but... She's laughing behind the camera. Silly not the best. <laughs> it's okay. Right, Pete, you need to try this. I don't want to. It looks gross. It's not a shepherd's pie. Okay, so from the German stand, we've gone for two of the pretzel bratwurst and the frozen Jaeger. So, taste test, boys. All right. Oh, it's very hot, actually. Oh, God. Jeez. Is it hot? How is it? It's like very hot. Oh, Try the Jaeger. Thank you. 
It tastes exactly like a, a Jaeger or a Monster, but frozen. Perfect. How's the hot dog? Thumbs up. Good job. <laughs> Le Monsterable. <laughs> I didn't see that before. <laughs> I do like a park like in the dark when it's all lit up and stuff. You kind of see details that you haven't didn't get a chance to see. Oh, is he there now? just got round to Icebreaker and it actually looks like it's running. Come so on it, come on it, come on it, come If it's running, we're going. Oh, yes. if we can get to go on it and finish off the day like that, that would just be amazing. Off the run. on it by the way we didn't we didn't ask him to, we didn't force him on the ride he did want to do it but it's always good to try new things honey yes i love that and i'm so glad we got to ride before the end of the day are you gonna dance again oscar he was just telling me that icebreak is his favorite ride what even though it's the scariest ride he says it's his favorite ride so with our credit number nine, we've gone for a blackberry bramble because I think we're done eating now, but we are still very thirsty. Still though, that ride was terrifying. Ooh, that's strong. Yeah. That's really strong. And we've got one more credit left and we're going to get Oscar a cheesecake cone, I think, is it? So for the last credit, we've gone for a rainbow cheesecake waffle cone. Look at the size of that. Oscar, what do you think? Cheese size big. That's big. Try a bite. Oscar, taste test. I got tissues, don't worry. Is it good? Wait, wait, wait. I can confirm that the cheesecake waffle cone is very, very good. Very good. Probably the best thing we've had here, actually. I have to say, the Seven Seas Food and Wine Festival. I agree. Yeah, really. You should go to SeaWorld now. We've enjoyed it here at SeaWorld, but this Seven Seas Food Festival, maybe it's because we left it a bit later in the day, but really that's dinner time as well, so you would think it would still have been you know, fresh and hot, it was not good, especially not compared to the Universal Mardi Gras. That one was top notch. I think one of the best things we got was those um, lamb ribs, which we didn't even pay for, that that guy gave to us. Yeah, true. And that waffle cone. 
that raspberry and the cheesecake. So. <laughs> Look at that baby bear. There you go. Wow. That's better. Oscar Cam. The park is now officially closed, but we had time to do one more ride. We got on literally just in the last minute and we did Manta. Oh my god! <laughs> they rated it a 10 out of 10 of scariness. I'm, I'm not tall enough to go on it. I would not have gone on it even if I was tall enough. No, that was 10 out of 10 for scary. I We love air from Alton Towers, which is obviously very similar, but you do not go that high on air. Yeah, that was terrifying, but in a good way. And now we're done! Did we enjoy our day at SeaWorld? Yes. We'll wrap this vlog up here because it's quite late now. It's park closing. We're just going to go back to the hotel tonight and go to bed. It's been a very good day. We've really enjoyed SeaWorld. Yeah, this was one of the best days. Oh, that's good. But well, Discovery Cup and SeaWorld behind each other, yeah, that would be the best day. Yeah, it's been a great day today. So, join us again for another vlog where we are switching hotels. We're leaving Cabana Bay and we're going to the Rosen Inn and we have a day of shopping. We're going to go to the outlets, we're going to go to the mall. We've got lots of fun things planned. So we'll see you again for another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. Bye!